there's a lot of weird people out there that like the way that, uh, you know, Ubuntu is set up. The whole layout and scheme of it. And, um, those strange people make me laugh sometimes because, well, I've never seen anything like it. So instead, we're going to be setting up Plasma to look like, well, that. Because, yay. And we're not talking about the new Ubuntu. We're talking about the one that had the the Unity one that had the global uh, menus and stuff. So, yeah. Let's get started. So, show panel configuration set to top. And we're going to add a blank panel by going here. And it's going to be an empty panel. Then we're going to click on this panel. We're going to set the position to here. And we're going to turn floating off. We're also going to go to this one. And we're going to turn floating off. We are going to shrink this one down enough that it looks like the original panel. And I think that should be good. And I wish... Actually, there it goes. It just fit perfectly. Great. So now we're going to click this one. We're going to uh, take these right here and we're going to put them over here just like that and then we're going to bump up the size to about right there i'm going to set this to transparent because i know you guys like transparent and so far so good as you can see we have a menu here now getting this to be a different menu is going to be a bit difficult but there are alternatives that we could grab that I will look into here in a second. We're gonna remove the pager. We're once again gonna add a widget and it's gonna be the global menu. Done. I haven't looked at Ubuntu in a while, but uh, so far we're getting pretty darn close. So if we open up a file that supports, you know, global menus like this, that's what it ends up looking like. Huh? Pretty cool so far, right? Do I have your attention? I hope so. Now, I know Ubuntu does have system tray stuff. That's great. We're going to clean it up a bit because honestly, it's a, it's a tad too messy for my liking. But yeah, isn't the start button supposed to be down here on this one? I believe it is. So if we do this, we're going to take that, put that there. We're going to grab this, put that right there and now it blends in a whole lot better i don't ever understood the meaning of the way that this works but apparently it's a thing that they do all right for the next part we're gonna have to scale some things up a bit still we're gonna go with 54 because the icons on this side on the dock are probably about there maybe 52 to be exact yeah, like something like that. And no, this doesn't belong here. This doesn't exist at all. They use overview. But I know there's a few of you that well want your start menu. So we're going to add that there. And if we actually go back into show panel configuration mode and add widget, I believe we can go grab other ones as well. Um, start menu. Let's see what they have here. Yes, yes, I know about caution. There's a tiled menu. That's pretty cool. An arch update counter. Um, menu. A KDE plasma menu. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of things that you can add when it comes to KDE. But very few of them are actually good. Alright, since they had a launcher, we're going to add a launcher. Okay. So this is a full screen dashboard. So this is gonna go right there instead. And once again, you guys can totally end up removing what you want from here. And I'll remove the application launcher. So now it does this, which is pretty much what Ubuntu does at this point, I think. They just open up overview, uh, but getting things to show like what they have with workspaces is a tad hard. So instead, you can just like, what was it? Like that? Or is it like, I don't actually know how to get it to show other things like that. I think you have to change it alternatively. It's a bit strange, you know? 
What is this menu? We actually have power management now. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Now, once again, I said I would clean up this, this menu here. We're going to go with small so it's nice and compact. And we're going to get rid of everything that doesn't need to be there. Uh, like updates. No. And this maybe show when relevant Bluetooth show when relevant I'm trying to scroll not get in there camera indicators fine I don't need this this is all up to you and your configuration by the way not mine I don't need that I don't need that microphone can stay networks power battery printer don't have one just get rid of what you don't need and you should be fine input method Disable that. Don't really care about notifications or bolts. I will. Always show the weather though. But the weather always crashes. It's unfortunate. It is what it is. It's just, it's a plasma issue. Now, they have a thing and a dot there. But uh, we're going to go over to Arc Menu Git Lab. Okay. And we're going to grab an Ubuntu icon. I don't know if you're going to want to take it this far. Uh, what if we just do dash and a dot? Let's see what that brings us. Icon. Ah, look at that. A dot dot dash. Now, if we can only get that in white. This might work, but we're going to have to flip it upside down and make it work. I don't want that. I want this. We're going to save image as this is getting weird, but it is what it is. All right. So with that, I'm going to open a heroic game launcher. And I'm going to open up Photoshop. I switched Photoshop over to the Heroic Game Launcher because I have a lot more fine-tuned control over it here. Plus, Heroic Game Launcher actually fully injects BKD 3D into here, allowing for it to be a lot more stable. And 9.11, 9.12 Wine makes this whole lot more stable, which is really nice. I already hate this look. Now, of course, we can grab the icons and everything that we need for, uh, what do you call it, for this. So, oh, wow, it already is. So all we need to do is go to image. You can do this in any image editor. Hit invert. If we want to, we can add some pizzazz to it, like... Uh, a quick bevel, not that type of bevel. We're set to default, this type of bevel, just a quick dirty one, you know, make it look a bit fancy. Then we export as a quick PNG, unless it lets us do SVG, which it doesn't, never does. I don't know why I even bother to ask. And export to, use my logos. These are not my logos. It's a big pain in the butt, but I need to set this up properly eventually. So home, matte, and I'm going to just save it right there so I know where it is. So let's go to configure application dashboard, choose a better icon, and there we go. But uh, that's not really going to do it, is it? Because it's kind of small. So, I don't know how to deal with this one. Is it just, like, it has no way to just bump up the size of it, which is a bit unfortunate. Maybe we need to make it a bit bigger. Uh, where is Photoshop? There it is. All right, so we're just going to go to image size. And we're going to crank this up to 2096. Uh, and of course, we're going to click. 
2096 and hit okay and then we're gonna hit save hopefully making it bigger fixes the problem i really don't know sizing these things up was never something that i normally do nope it did nothing oh well i don't know put whatever you want there that suits you best and uh i guess we can try to grab the icons but i don't really see a point i mean we go to settings let's see if there's anything in the settings when it comes to appearance and grabbing icons ubuntu Ooh, Suru for all. There it is. Look at that. Which one do we use? We're going to grab the dark icons, okay? Now, personally, I've always liked this theme. I know it's strange to say that, but it is what it is. It is a good theme. Uh, but the problem was it just brings horrible memories. Yeah. So it is what it is. Now, that's pinned, that's pinned. And to finalize, oh, it didn't really do the dolphin manager a very good job, but yeah, the bug's happening again. So I'm gonna cut the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope someone, this helped someone. Uh, if it did, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know your experiences, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.